I opened her mouth and there was a pin stuck in the roof of her mouth. Six-year-old Murphy, an English cream golden retriever, is alert and happy today, a day after surgery to remove eight sharp pins from her stomach. Those inch-long pins, like the ones used by tailors, were found laced in food left out on a path in Fort Tryon Park, perhaps maliciously placed in half-eaten garbage by someone who wanted to harm dogs or other animals in this upper Manhattan park. It's, uh, it's really an, an evil, horrible uh, person. You know, there's skunks and there's raccoons in this park, and maybe that's what they were trying to, to attract. It, no one deserves that. Darty says Murphy picked up the first set of pins in some kind of bird carcass she ate in the park on Monday. Then in the same area of the park near Billings Lawn off of Fort Washington Avenue, Murphy scarfed down a half-eaten burrito, tin foil and all, the next day. It wasn't until Murphy passed two of the pins on a walk Wednesday that Darty knew she had inhaled them. The six-year-old retriever was rushed to her vet at Lincoln Square Veterinary Hospital for x-rays and then emergency surgery. Why would you have a burrito with pins in it if you didn't have a plan to have something bad happen? Police and the ASPCA are now looking into who would place pins in the discarded food and why. And with that, a warning to all dog owners and walkers in Fort Tryon Park. Making sure you're really careful with what they're eating and what they're getting into. Be aware and be, be mindful of what's, what's on the ground. Look ahead.